Welcome to the power play with CJ. I want to focus in on the Tampa Bay Lightning, Amnesty and Vinny the Cavalier, and Megan the, the captain, uh, free agent. You know, it's a tough move for the Lightning, obviously, but you know, salary cap driven league, you got to make decisions, and cutting your captain is, uh, you know, one of the one of the things that has to be made. Um, there was originally a talk with shipping him to Toronto, having Toronto Amnesty, and then bringing him back to Tampa. Bill Daly quashed that um, because. It would be staring much no salary cap, which is which is understandable. Um, but you know, someone that spends half my year in Tampa, you know, it's gonna be tough without number four up there. I, he's the one Lightning player with jersey I own, so I guess I gotta um, go out and buy, buy a Stamkos or a uh, Jonathan Drouin jersey. But we'll see what happens. Um, Forty-eight out, uh, seventy-two hours not the draft. Uh, but you know, like I said, it's tough to watch Vinny go. But he wasn't his play wasn't warranting the con the money he was getting paid. You know he. I think it was a seven point something million dollar cap hit, and uh, yeah, eleven year, eighty five million dollar deal he signed in, in uh, two thousand eight. So he, um, you know, and then this year, I mean, he had a pretty good year. He had thirty two points in thirty nine games, but with the cap going down, um, you know, and then the the play declining. When you got Stamkos there, I mean, he's the face of your franchise. Someone had to go, and uh, you know, it's just. I think, and now the big question is where does he end up? I think Montreal is an option. I think it's not the only option. I mean, people, oh, he's going to go home, play for Montreal. No. Um, you know, I think it, it fit in there, but give some good veteran leadership to those forwards with, with Galchenyuk, with Gallagher. Um, you know, guys like that, you know, that he could definitely show them a thing or two. Um, I think the, the Canucks with Tortorella makes sense. Uh, I think he could show them the. I mean, uh, I can't stand Vancouver as far as I can throw that entire team. So seeing one of my favorite players play there would be a bag of mixed emotions. But you know, Pavel Bure is one of my all-time favorite players, and he uh, he was one of the best, arguably the best knock of all time. So I think I, I think I get over it. And um, you know, then the Florida Panthers, I think, would make sense. Staying in the state of Florida, keep some veteran leadership. You know, yada yada yada. And actually, he was almost there was supposedly talks about him getting traded. To the Panthers for Luongo back in 2006. Then those talks two years ago in the trade of Vancouver for Luongo. So uh, maybe that's, you know, maybe, I mean, Luongo's not going to end up in Tampa. Either he's damn to, to it to be Florida or, or somewhere else. But, um, you know, that's something to think about, too. And I mean, I just, as a Bruins fan, I think it'd be a good fit. But there's no, we don't need a center, we need wings. So, uh, but, you know, the unique set of, of size and skill with them was really a fan favorite in Tampa and you know won the Stanley Cup in all four. My favorite Vinny the Cavier memory was game two Eastern Conference semifinals 2011. Washington Capitals scores an overtime goal to, to put them up 2-0 in the series. Now that's cool but flip over. I was watching the game on TV. I flip over and uh, CNN had a trailer of Osama Bin Laden's dead. So that, that was a really as a hockey fan and as an American that was a great night to, to be alive. But you know anyway Best of luck to Vinny. I'm, I'm rooting for him. He'll always be one of my favorite players, and I hope he um, hope he I mean, he'll land on his feet. Anyone that's getting paid the amount of money he's getting paid will do just fine. But I know it's truly an emotional day for him and his family, as uh, his days in Tampa are now over. You know, as a, as a Lightning player, so we'll see what happens. He played a thousand games with the Lightning. Uh, thousand thirty-seven. So wow. Anyway, that's all. This episode of the Power Play with CJ on Tampa Amnesty and Vinny the Cavalier. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the off season and beyond. Later, guys.